James Hinchcliffe, we're coming off of a qualifying session, a race, and another qualifying session. How are you feeling uh, going into race two? Uh, you know, feeling pretty pretty confident. Obviously, yesterday we had a strong run going before the yellows kind of went against us there. But, um, you know, the car's been great all weekend. Hoping for a little bit more in qualifying. You know, we lost a little bit of that pace. Which is too bad because we know passing here is tough. And, uh, and there's obviously a lot of quick guys up there. So we'll see. I mean, physically feeling good. Fighting a bit of a cold, which is a bad weekend to have that. But uh, it's all good, man. We're just hoping for a good race this afternoon. Did the rain and such yesterday help from a physical depletion standpoint? I think for sure. You know, I mean, there's no doubt that the humidity was still fierce and, and everybody was still very dehydrated at the end of the race. Uh, but I think, you know, from more of a, a muscular point of view, yeah, I think everybody's a lot less fatigued than they would be if that thing had been uh, all green flag running in the dry. So maybe a little bit of a saving grace there. No, we only did about half or two thirds of a race yesterday, unfortunately. So we're, uh, I'm ready. You know, I feel pretty good, I think. Coming into this season with the double header experience last year, we were better prepared uh, physically and mentally for it. So coming back day two at, at Houston, um, just like day two at Detroit, I think we feel pretty strong. You know, qualifying this morning wasn't ideal, but uh, I think we're, we're ready for the race this afternoon. If it's wet, it's dry, it's hot, it's humid, whatever it is, it, you know, the Nova Nordisk crew and I are ready. What do you do from a fluid, carbohydrate, you name it, standpoint? What do you, what's your day like building up for the race? Oh, it's as much as you can get, um, fluids, and then making sure you replenish the, the calories you burn on, uh, in race one. So it's, it's getting good, high-quality food, um, making sure that you get those calories in, and the right balance between carbs and proteins and a little bit of fat as well. Well, obviously, uh, this weather, it's uh, nothing similar to what I used to, <laughs> what I have in uh, Moscow, but uh, you need to prepare yourself for uh, every situation you're going to be in uh, these races up here. And, uh, of course, I've been training a lot, so it's uh, I'm not going to say it's easy, but uh, it's the same for everybody, you know. And uh, it's just important uh, to spend your time in the gym between the races. That's what I do, and uh, I think that's, uh, uh, that's what's uh, going to help me. What do you do to prepare in terms of your, your program for today? When do you start loading yourself with liquids and everything else to be ready for this afternoon? Well, that's uh, actually my plan just uh, to do it now, you know, after, <laughs> after our interview. Um, so I'm going to go to the team and I'm going to work with the team and uh, drink a lot of water. Uh, that's basically the only way you can prepare yourself at this point. Uh, but again, it's very important to spend your time in the gym as more as possible between the races because again, the season is so tight that uh, you're actually losing form during the season because uh, you're not gaining form. You're losing the form because you can't spend so much time in the gym. So you need to spend uh, as much time as you can between and that's, that's the only thing going to you know, help you.